there. Are you here to read the snow bear with me? You are? Oh, that makes me so happy. I love reading with friends. Should we get started? You think so? I do too. All right, let's read the snow bear. In the silent forest is a clearing where soft snowflakes fall. But listen, there's padding and pouncing and a snowdrift shivers. A little white bear bursts into the clearing. He looks left and right, high and low for his mother. Mother, where are you? Calls the little white bear. He waits and waits, but she does not come. I will make a snow mother, he whispers, to keep me company while I wait. The little white bear sweeps snow into a mother's shape. But listen, there's snuffling and swishing in a deep crunch of snow. Muskox shakes his shaggy coat. Let me help, he says, and he heaves a heavy mound of snow with his strong shoulder. There's stirring and whirring and a soft snowy landing. Snow Goose smooths her fine feathers. Let me help, she says, and she pats down the snow with her wide webbed feet. There's splintering and splashing coming from the icy lake. Moose nuzzles the little white cub with his velvet muscle. Let me help, he says, and he shovels more snow with his sweeping antlers. They're skidding and sliding and the sound of claws on ice. Fox twitches her frisky whiskers. Let me help, she says, and she shapes the feet with her quick curved paws. There's panting and pawing and a lot of tail wagging. Wolf sniffs the air with his long, sharp nose. Let me help, he says, and he brushes in the fur mass marks with his big bushy tail. There's hopping and stopping and two long ears flopping. Hare stares with dark liquid eyes. Let me help, she says, and she draws the face with her neat narrow paws. Bear, hare, and wolf, snow goose, and moose, muskox, and fox finish the snow bear just as the sun sets and the world is washed gold. But listen, From the forest, their mothers call them home, all except for the little white bears. Goodbye, he says sadly as they disappear into the dusk. Thank you for your help. Darkness settles over the clearing. The little white cub snuggles up against the snow bear, wishing it were already morning. As he sleeps, warm winds blow from the south and the soft, they soften the snow slowly. Slowly, the snow bear melts into the green of the forest. But listen, do you hear that? As dawn breaks, who comes sniffling and searching through the trees? <gasps> That's his mom. In the clearing, a new day begins. A familiar scent awakens the little white bear. He blinks sleepily. It's you, he murmurs, moving closer to his mother's side. I knew you would find me. That was it. I hope you enjoyed that story with me. And are you going to come back tomorrow too? We're going to read another story tomorrow to continue our countdown to Christmas. It's pretty exciting. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow.